today we're gonna be talking about how I made this candle head. Whenever you're doing composites, the more that you don't have to find elements from stock, the better. So for me, I shot me in this location, right? And then I did the match, I did the hand, and then I photographed the candle in the same place. So let's hop over to Lightroom. Now you can see these are the four frames that I used to create this image. The reason why it's important to photograph all those elements the same is because they're gonna have the same lighting. It's also photographed at the same vantage point with the same lens. This is our starting point. I just did a little bit of darkening on the background with an adjustment layer really quickly. And then I just basically did a black box along the top, kind of coming in here and cleaning up just the edges. So here's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna go over to my candle. I'm gonna make a lasso around the top of this candle. I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt and I'm gonna click with my magic wand tool around the edge here. So we'll go to Select, Modify and Contract. It's two pixels and then I'm gonna press OK and that's just going to tighten up that edge. We take the same selection and we do another modification to it. Select, Modify, Feather and do probably a 2% feather on this area too. Command or Control C to copy these pixels and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna do Command or Control V to paste those pixels into this image. So I'm going to right click and I'm gonna to choose to convert to smart object. Let's go ahead and hit Command or Control T. So I'm gonna hold down Shift and click and drag it over. Take this layer that we have and I wanna go ahead and just pull down the opacity of it just slightly so that I can kind of see the underlying layer. I'm gonna activate the warp option here. I'm just lining up the side we're gonna go ahead and create a mask over our candle head layer. I'll make sure that I'm using the brush tool and I'm just gonna start brushing away the candle from where I don't want it to be. I'm gonna make five hue saturation adjustment layers and I'm going to clip them all to my candle head. All right, let's see, I've got darken, lighten, color match, remove saturation, add saturation, and they're all clipped to our candle head layer. For darken, I am going to come up and I'm gonna just change the blend mode from normal to multiply, decrease a little bit of the saturation, darken just a touch. I'm gonna invert it, command or control I. For lighten, I'm just gonna go up and change the blend mode to screen, and then I'm gonna invert it. So for this, I'm gonna click on the icon of my layer, and then I'm gonna come to my properties window, probably choose colorize, and then I wanna find a color in here and a saturation value that the base kind of matches what I'm kind of working on. Remove saturation, we're just gonna decrease the saturation in our properties. Add saturation to our add saturation layer and then invert this mask, add saturation and invert subtract saturation. So I'm gonna start with darken and I'm going to make sure that I'm painting with my brush tool. I'm gonna to make sure that I am painting with white. So I'm darkening this in this area here. So now we've got our lighten. I'm gonna come over here and just lighten up the top corner of the candle over here. So now we're gonna to come to our remove saturation and I'm gonna go in here to start to remove this crazy saturation from this corner. I'm gonna take my candle head layer. I'm gonna go down to my effects choice right here and I'm gonna do inner shadow. I have changed the blend mode for my inner shadow to screen, which is a lightning blend mode. Then I've changed the angle of where that light is gonna hit and I've also changed the color to be a light whitish. It's its own layer. Now I can add a mask to it and only reveal it where I want it to be. That area there was selected from that image. So I pasted it into the area here and then I went ahead and added a bit of a mask to it. Changing the lighting, changing the color, changing the saturation value and adding some darkness. Next, got rid of that and then I added my new arm. Then I added the drips. And I'm just gonna lasso this area. So I've got the selection here. We're just gonna fill it with a skin tone of a color. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna choose to convert to smart object. And so we'll come to our effects and we're gonna choose bevel and emboss. Now I need to add a drop shadow to this as well. We're gonna turn all three of these into layers like I've done before. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back to our drip layer. We're gonna go into our filter, filter gallery, and then I did a sandstone texture. So I'm gonna create Ooh. a new layer and I'm gonna clip this to the underlying layer as well. Shift delete. I am gonna choose 50% gray and then I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. 
And then I'm gonna be painting with black and white. So coming in here, getting these drops. Then I added some blobs using the exact same technique. I started kind of creating the color and the lighting from this. And this is just color layers on a blend mode. Then I got into the color grading and then just some overall dodge and burn. And that's kind of how we got to the final. See you soon, everyone. Thank you.